so I'm gonna show you the way to figure out a perfect um, NCAA bracket. Woo! So if this is your team, you got um, four teams. You got team A, B, C, and D. So the probability that you're gonna get this right is two. Probably you got two four. choices, right? Yeah, two choices. This one you got two choices. And say C wins and B wins. Probability that you're gonna get the champing of this would be two choices. So if you take two times two times two equals A. Also two to the third power. So if you do the same thing for the big bracket, it would be two times two times two times two times two times two. Times two times two, times two, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, times two, 63 times. 63 because you don't, because each team loses one time, except for the champion who goes all the way without losing. So basically it's two to the 63rd power. <laughs> so if you do, if you do two times two times two, um, 63 times. Tell us, Eric, is that a large number? Eh, I guess you could say so. <laughs> but. So. What? He's going to have to start a little bit further to the left. Who thinks they could say this number once he writes it? Me. Sawyer? Okay. Do you have talent with screw on your nose? Yeah. Very good. <laughs> kind of a big number. Yeah. So that's a big number. So it's, um, so it's that number to one. That's your chances. But there is one, um, if you actually know something about basketball, like you watch the teams and you know what, who's um, probably going to win, who has a better chance, it's more like... 128. Oh my That's like if you know the higher seeds. That's like 128 million. Okay. Uh, All right, Sawyer. How do you say that number? Okay. The only problem with this is I don't know what is after quadrillion. Quintillion. Okay. Nine quintillion, 223 quadrillion, 372 trillion, 36 billion, 854 million. All right, give him a round of applause. Nice work.